Well, hello everyone and welcome to my penultimate video of 2022, where I am, if you happen to have guessed from the backdrop, I am currently on the Isle of Wight, where I have just been looking at a fantastic project for 2023, renovating a whopping great big 25 by 20 meter wildlife pond that we're going to hopefully be undertaking next year as a project so stay tuned to the channel for that one but in today's video i just wanted to wish you all a very 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 merry christmas wherever you are around the world doesn't matter whatever your religion race whatever you believe in i just hope you all have a wonderful time at this time of year i really can't thank you guys enough for the support over the last two and a half years and I really hope you get to spend some time with your family wherever you are and for those of you that get a little bit bored on Christmas Day <clears throat> don't forget there's always the 200 plus videos I've already made on the channel if you check the video playlist section anyway <laughs> but seriously in these darker times well not today it's an absolutely glorious day here on the Isle of Wight um, with this gorgeous cliff cliffs of chalk behind me um, which is a fabulous habitat in its own right um, but anyway if it is a darker time when you are watching this video if it is bleak and dull and miserable and raining or snowing as we've had recently here in the UK then do check out some of the previous videos on the channel click go onto the home page click on the video section and that will show you all the videos I've made over the last two and a half years everything from how to make a wildlife pond through to how to attract birds to your garden um, and obviously at this time of year as well, don't forget to be providing food for the birds in your garden. The natural food sources are great in terms of the berries. We've got rowan berries, rose hips, all sorts of berries at the moment. But of course, if you don't have any of those in your garden or you've only got a small garden, then it do put out some feeders. And if you want to see how to attract birds to your garden and some of the foods in which you can use, including our special wild your garden, seed mix which we've had specially prepared just for you guys to be able to attract a whole host of birds to your garden in whether you're in the uk or if you're in the uk obviously we can ship to you and that covers everything you need to cover from ground feeding birds to putting it in your feeders as well so it's a really nice blend of seeds there but i'll put a link into a video at the end of this one where you can have a look at how you can attract more birds to your garden and what seeds you can be feeding and what is in my experience i'm not saying necessarily the best but what i found to be the best foods to put in your bird feeders at this time of year because we have had some freezing conditions it's been minus 15 in parts of scotland and it's been extremely cold and every time i look out a window when it's that cold i just think of the birds and think how the hell do so many of them survive and over here in the uk i think there's a mortality rate of about 60 oh no sorry 40 percent 40 percent of our blue tits for example die on average each year through the winter months and um yeah staggering to statistic obviously why they have such high broods of you know often 10 to 12 chicks sometimes in a nest you can find um, it's not not uncommon so feeding the birds is absolutely essential and also providing water for them it's absolutely just as important to provide fresh water to them with everything being frozen they still need to drink they still need access to fresh water so providing a bird bath even just a shallow tray as long as you keep it clean and topped up regularly that will be a really beneficial habitat for birds it enables them to bathe as well bathing is a big part of any bird's life cycle so if you can provide food and water for our birds at this time of year also there's a whole other host of things you can be doing to encourage wildlife and i'll put shall i say my top 10 tips for autumn and winter in terms of your wildlife garden what you can be doing in terms of helping the wildlife at this time of year because there's still things we can do although it might be well again not a very dull day here today <laughs> we've got meadow pipits in the background linnets around me this beautiful habitat here where i am on this hillside with this rather hazy yet gorgeous view over parts of the isle of wight it really is a fabulous backdrop uh, but there are many things we can do as i say at this time of year to help wildlife in our own garden 
But as I say, the main message for today's video is a big Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you have a wonderful time. Enjoy the time out, wherever, whatever you do. If you have a busy working life, make the most of time with your family is all I would say. That's certainly what I aim to do over the next week and a half and just completely switch off. But don't switch off too much. And remember me because uh, I will be posting a New Year's video where I will be doing a bit of a montage of the last 12 months of some of the projects that I've worked on and maybe a few clips from the previous year as well to give you guys a taster of what's to come, what you may have seen and just a fun video for you to enjoy around New Year's. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for that video. That will be my last video of 2022 and I really can't wait to show you some of the wonderful, wonderful projects I've got already lined up for 2023. It's going to be a phenomenal year, I'm sure. This year has taken me to some far flung places, obviously Panama in October, I was in France in June, Scotland in May, so I've had some amazing times creating habitats for wildlife and if not helping others create them. So there are some wonderful videos to come and I promise you I will have some downtime over the festive period to be working on those projects. One that I'm going to try to aim to get out to you guys very soon into the new year is the bird hide that I built up in Scotland which many of you have been asking about for well months it seems because I did do it back in May so I will be posting that out early into the new year so stay tuned for that one but thank you all as I say for the support it's just been a phenomenal year and I cannot thank you enough for all the times you've maybe shared this video or more importantly you've created a habitat based on one of these videos whether that's putting up bird feeders whether that's making a wildlife pond a wildlife barrel pond whether it's just planting a few herbaceous perennials in a pot hello <laughs> another dog walker that's all right no problem at all <laughs> i like to feature dogs in my videos <laughs> that's all right so there you go, another dog just to round up the year. <laughs> um, yeah, so th there are many, many ways in which you can help wildlife, of course, and one of the best ways to do that is to check out the videos, as I say, on the playlist. If you're stuck for ideas, there's a myriad of videos there. So from here on a beautiful Isle of Wight, I've now got to get back and catch a ferry back to the mainland. So I hope you all have a very pleasant festive period. Eat too much, drink too much, and enjoy your family too much before you took them out the door and think thank god they're gone <laughs> anyway thanks ever so much guys stay tuned loads more to come stick around for the new year's video and i will be sure to bring you many more ways in which you can help videos videos <laughs> you can tell it's the end of a <laughs> it's not even the end of the day uh the end of a busy busy week uh, busy year so thank you very much guys feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already give the video a like and i'll be sure to bring you many more videos on all the ways in which you can help wildlife not videos in videos to come thanks for watching stay tuned i'll see you soon <laughs>